Hi, this is Chung Wen, and today we're going to actually be taking a look at the software tour on the Storm 2 from Verizon Wireless. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software and compare it with the original Storm. So let's go ahead and begin the software comparison between the Storm 2, which is on the left hand side with the subdued tungsten like chrome edges, and the original Storm on the right hand side, which has the shinier chrome border. On the software side, it looks like a little bit has changed since the Storm 1, or the original Storm, was released. On the top, you see Verizon Wireless now uses a 3G indicator on the left-hand side with a BlackBerry logo to show that it is connected to the BlackBerry server to be pulling or receiving push email. On the right-hand side, you see the Capital One X EV to show that it is on the EVDO network, which is a 3G network that Verizon Wireless uses. And the capital letters actually shows that it is connected to the BlackBerry server, so you will be receiving push email. Aside from the aesthetic differences, let's go ahead and take a look at the software. Um, on the new Storm, if you're actually on the main screen, if you tap down, um, the icons glow but won't stay lit. On the original Storm, if you tap down, the icons will stay lit. Um, however, if you are in the icon screen, if you tap, they will continue to stay lit on the new Storm 2. On the Storm 2, the SMS application has changed a little bit pictographically and also the media application or icon has changed somewhat compared to the more cluttered media application icon on the original Storm. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, the browser and see how, uh, in a non-scientific test, the browser rendering. I have enabled JavaScript on both browsers, and we're going to go ahead and go into the bookmarked page and view the Pocket Now homepage on both devices and see which one finishes first. We're on 3G on both devices, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Looks like the original Storm is getting a head start. And it looks like both pages are popping up at the same time. And it looks like the original Storm actually finishes first. And this is basically the same experience that I've had um, playing with the device. Um, it looks like the original Storm actually renders a page, uh, a web page, a little bit quick, uh, more quickly than the Storm 2. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Pocket Now homepage. Um, to actually zoom on the Storm 2, you can actually zoom in with the icons on the bottom of the screen. You can hit the plus to zoom in or the minus to zoom out. Or what you can do is just tap on the screen in the text area and it would actually zoom in. However, if you t uh, tap on a link, it will actually take you to the link. So be careful if you're trying to zoom and not tap on a link. Also, with the Storm 2, you actually, let's go ahead and go back out to the menu screen, you actually have kinetic scrolling, so you can actually flick and scroll like on the iPhone. Um, that will be actually available for the original Storm via a software upgrade package in the future, but if you just flick and scroll, it would actually take you a lot further through your list than on the Storm 1, which will actually just pause. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scrolling on the Storm 1. Go ahead and go back out. So if you scroll, it would actually just pause in the middle of the list here and then you can continue to scroll, but there's not that kinetic action which takes you through on the Storm 2. On the Storm 2, there's also another application that comes with the device that we have seen on the HTC Amagio, which is a Windows Mobile 6.5 device for Verizon Wireless. That pro program is called City ID, which allows you to actually look up the city and state if you know the area code and phone number, or if a f uh, caller calls in, it would actually show their city and state location on your caller ID display. So that's um, a cool part with the City uh, ID application. 
Um, there's also now cut, copy, and paste. So let's go ahead and look at this web page. Um, it was actually a link that we clicked on earlier from the Pocket Now page. But in order to activate cut, copy, and paste, you just place two fingers on the screen. Actually, that just zoomed in. Um, let's see, just place two fingers on the screen and it will bring up, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out actually. And it will bring up these indicators. So you can actually move the indicators, the top one and the bottom one. Actually, let's go back to the Pocket Now homepage. But basically, cut, copy, and paste will give you two indicators, so you can move the top one and the bottom one to uh, select the amount of text that, or, that you need to copy. And then there are icons on the bottom here, which will show up in the right context so that you can actually select copy or cut. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little and tap with two fingers. It's actually not cooperating. So you see one of the indicators here. So you can actually move that indicator there and then there's a bottom indicator here. And then to cut, copy and paste here you see the icons. On the far left you have the cut icon. The next one over right here is the copy and then here it would just cancel your selection. So you just tap on the screen. Uh, you don't actually have to click down because if you click down it would actually zoom. So you just tap and then you can just move the um, indicator selector um, icons to select the right amount of text and then you can actually tap again and it will bring up the menu. So here let's go ahead and just copy and then if you don't want that, you can just cancel the selection and it will return your screen back. So aside from kinetic scrolling, we now have cut, copy and paste in a finger friendly gesture menu on the Storm 2. And this is a brief look at the software tour of the Verizon Wireless BlackBerry Storm 2.